Hey guys, today I'll be talking about things that keeping you poor in CDT. So let's get right into the video. So the first one is buying upgrades to cars you won't use frequently. For example, on this Ferrari I keep all of its performance stock except the race tires. The reason why I don't upgrade it cause I only take it out when I'm bored of other cars. And the more car cost equals more expensive car upgrades. So I literally I have to pay 700k cash just to make this car 40 mph faster. The only thing I recommend when upgrading is just spend it on or best cars that you drive every day. Like I did with some of these cars. Now the second one is to not buy every shop car. If you have a budget of less than 60 meters then just don't buy all of the cars. If I'm not mistaken it costs 65 meters cash to buy every car in the shop. If you really want to get all of them then I recommend having a budget more approximately 100m cash and unless if we're a CDT collector too. Now the third one is wasting all of your cash into one limited car. If you have for example one 1m and if you want to buy the new Pininfarina B95 then be for buying it I really recommend watching reviews on it be for buying and also choose very wisely since we're about to waste all of your cash. But there's still one good thing about it is that it may get AOG wrap in the future if the car coming out for the first ever time. And then you can flex on your friends with the OG wrap of it. But still should make your choices very wisely on these ones. The fourth one is actually buying useless stuff for your car. For example what I mean is by buying spoilers on it. And putting some wheels that doesn't fit the car. Some certain cars don't fit spoilers like these and it just ruins the whole look of it. They also don't give any benefits to handling to it because it's just mostly as a cosmetic. The only beneficial thing between all of these is the extra low suspension. It can give some handling buffs to it. Now let's get to the last thing. The last one is putting the wrong cars in your dealership. The best option is just put your most earning cash car on platforms. Like for example how I did with this one. You can see how much they will earn in garage in shop when buying them. And 2x cash game pass will help a lot to it since I earn 13,000 cash every 3 seconds. So putting the best cars will help a lot with your grinding. Also just saying that 2x cash events doesn't double. You are dealership income since it just doubles your car driving earnings. But that was all guys, if this was interesting for you all helpful then subscribe to our channel for more cool videos like these. Editing these videos take me a lot of time so I'd appreciate very much if you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.